Hello guys, welcome to another mind blowing video of Science Space Tamil. In this video, we are going to see about a hypothetical star, which is called as Tron Zydeco object, also known as a hybrid star. A star like a red giant or red super giant contains a neutron star in its core. It is formed from the collision of red giant star with the neutron star. This star event is hypothesized by Tip Thorn and Anna Zydeco in 1977. But astronomers aren't sure even after 45 years of searching. There are two different theories about the formation of Thorn Zydeco object. Both theories depend on the object starting their lives as two gigantic stars in a closed binary system. In one theory, at end times of the two stars in a binary system, one would explode as a supernova, leaving behind a neutron star. Over the time, the other star becomes supergiant. It will grow continuously until it fully swallowed the nearby neutron star. Another possible theory is that when one star explodes as a asymmetric supernova, we know that not all things gonna happen in a perfect manner, right? So like this, not all stars gonna explode as a perfect supernova that uh, a perfect symmetric supernova, right? So this theory states that one star explodes as a asymmetric supernova, its core could get a powerful kick that could potentially throw the neutron star into the center of remaining red giant. These events could happen mostly in extreme crowded star clusters. Clusters is nothing but uh, the group of stars in a certain place will attract the nearby stars by its gravity which makes a certain place uh, too crowded by high number of stars and uh, which makes it so dense and so, so bright. So coming to the video, once the neutron star enters the red giant star, it diffuses the layers of the red giant which causes the binary star system's orbit to decay. After the collision of the star, the core of neutron star and the core of red giant will merge. If the mass exceeds, then the two will collapse into a black hole or the two will become a single neutron star. The surface of the neutron star is very hot, which exceeds up to 1 billion Kelvin. The heat is dominated by nuclear fusion in the accretion gas or the compression of gas by the neutron star's gravity. Because of this extreme temperature, unusual nuclear process may take place, like hydrogen may fuse to produce different mixture of isotopes than it does in ordinary stars. The lifespan of star is estimated to be in the range of 100,000 years. Because of this lifespan, it is possible that 20 to 200 Thron Zydeco objects currently exist in our Milky Way galaxy. Speaking about these stars, how big are they? Uh, let's take our sun. Our sun is around 1.4 million kilometers in diameter approximately. So compared to the size of a red giant star, a red giant star's size is about 100 million to 1 billion kilometers in diameter. So even our sun is just a little dot compared to the size of this monster star. So what about a neutron star? A neutron star ranges up to 20 km in diameter, which is which is even we can't see, we can't even imagine how small is this star compared to the uh, 1 billion diameter red giant star. This is absolutely a mind blowing thing, right? It also has been theorized that the loss of mass will end this stage of Thron Zydeco object. The remaining envelope of red giant will convert it into a disk, which results the formation of neutron star with massive accretion disk or the pulsar with accretion disk. This hypothetical star is not discovered yet, but like the discovery of black hole, one day we will discover the presence of this mysterious star. Thanks for watching.